Hello, everybody. Sendrith back here with Seleusia. We're doing our cleric enchanter duo in the plane of mischief once again, and this time we're in the hedge mage, which my working theory is it's actually inside a little pot on a desk in the plane of mischief. We shrink in like Blue's Clues. We jumped on in there, and uh, here we are. We got a bunch of different classes to deal with, with definite variance in levels. The stalker you can see to the right is a rogue, and we I think the vindicator is a warrior. But we've got druids. Um, a pedal pusher is a druid. A sunny day. What is this? Is that a necro? I believe the sunny. No, the moldy sausage is the necro. Is that right, Salusia? Yeah, I think I think the uh, sunny day is a druid. I don't know what the pedal pusher is. I'm pretty sure the hedge wizards are wizards. So you can see one right there. Pedal pusher. Maybe a magician? No, there would be a pet. Well, maybe not. Oh, pedal pushers are enchanters. Oh. Oof. Sounds like a salesman trying to sell us pedals. <laughs> <laughs> so it is an interesting camp. The warriors are pretty much, the warriors and the rogues, and I think maybe the druids, are pretty much the only things that are even charmable. Everything else is out of the level range for Seleucia to charm at the moment. Uh, and they are all summoning level. So we're going to have some fun. We just died on our first attempt. We were under the impression, I think Seleucia read on a wiki or something somewhere, that they do not... They're far enough apart from each other to not aggro each other. But after our second death here, uh, we can pretty much confirm that's not the case, if not, or maybe just not always the case. Maybe there's some spot where that's true, but not here. <laughs> so when we're ready to go, I will re resume the video. See you soon. How's your mana? Mana's at 90 at the moment. All right, guys, so we went closer to the center of the hedge mace, and it seems like we got a little bit more room between the mobs here. So we're thinking that we can grab this vindicator without getting into too much trouble. But on the other side of this wall, there is a red kind of boss-like creature. Well, let's take a quick look at him. Named Progenitor. So we're really hoping that this wall stops the aggro with him. Um, were you thinking of getting the Vindicator, or were you thinking of getting the bunny? I almost want the bunny, but I don't know if he's charmable. Because hmm, he's, like, special. I think he might not be. He is... That seems like a great spot, though. Carrot Top. Did you look him up? Looking him up. Uh, it doesn't say he's not charmable. He's a 52 warrior, though. That sounds almost perfect, right? Almost. <laughs> okay, I think I like the idea of murder bunny. Yeah, do a little uh, holy grail action. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, he resisted my first. Is this Passy? Oh. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Got to try to stay in third person for the for the audience. So we got a hedge wizard on one side and a pedal pusher on the other. Pedal pushers are enchanters. Oof. That sounds a little scary. We'd have to be on top of the stun locks. Should probably warm up on the hedge wizard first. What do you think? Oh, you got. And he's here. I am stunning him, and he resisted my stun. He's still on you. Resisted another stun. I resisted, resisted mess. <laughs> and I guess that's it. That's all she wrote. <laughs> 
I got him rooted, root wore off. Oh, and I backed up and I added a pedal pusher. Are you able to gate? I don't have gate, but I have this. Divine Aura. Ha ha. Do your worst, fools. Do your worst. Well, I shall sit and await death. Look at you all trying to nuke me. Okay. The second one was my fault. I apologize. I was freaking out and I walked around too much. But it wasn't looking good anyway. You think we would have done it if I hadn't got the second one? But the, I think the hedge wizard adding was rough because for some reason none of my mezzes landed on him. So I'm gonna check. None of my stuns if did a, either. Uh, a level cap. On it probably is. And the hedge wizard's probably. Let's see, hedge wizard. Well, that was rough, guys, and that's kind of the story of our life so far in this uh, garden. Although the first oh, time yeah. we tried it, we did get a nice. What was it like? A black throne or something? What's the What's the news? Sorry. Um, yeah, Hedge Wizard is 59 through 61. Oh my goodness. So that's too high for... For those spells. Mez. And you don't have a mess that can do that level. <sighs> wow, I didn't even I'm con him. I'm not sure how that advice works where they said that um, possible solo here. It's got to be just the right spot and the right you know, mob selection, which I don't even know if passive will hit that high. Hmm. Pacify says creatures up to 55, so yeah, I couldn't even pass him. Well. Yeah, that was doomed to fail. Yeah. And like, there's enough hedge wizards all around that you can't expect to not run into them. Those are the highest level, it seems like. Yeah, out of those bunches. Well, should we get the bear and run around? Or let's take a look at the zone. There's only, there's, with us, there's only one person besides us in zone right now. And he's sitting right here. I don't know how long ago someone killed the rats. It's possible they, they slaughtered all the rats and they just logged off during the... The Gradar's been doing rats for like the past week or two. Hmm. Is he still? Maybe he had to gate out or something. Sitting right here. I know. Oh, you think he would have gated out to the tree? No, this is normally where he sits once he's cleared it. Okay, so he probably just cleared it. And you think he he clears the whole thing by himself? No way. That's yeah. ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. One guy. Not even well, sixty. I get kind of close to it. Soloing myself, I just. Yeah, usually I get to the part where I don't want to do. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's... 72 minutes, I guess that is quite a while. Yeah. Alright, I will pause this video and resume once we are ready to try something else. Alright, we're ready to go again. This time we're avoiding that hedge wizard, which we found out was level 59 to 61, and therefore... Unmezzable, unstunnable, uneverythingable. And uh, even without the ad I backed up into, we were definitely in some trouble there. So we're going to hit up this Vindicator, which is level 53. It's the last mezzable level for Seleucia here. And we're going to take on a Moldy Sausage, which is level 57. Oh, I'm sorry, the Vindicator is the last charmable level for Seleucia to deal with. The Moldy Sausage is the last mezzable level. The highest she can mez right now happens to also be 57. The beginning is going to tell the tale of the rest of the fight, I suspect. We're going to start out with a mez on the Vindicator. We're going to hope that the Moldy Sausage starts to cast before he gets into melee range. I've got Cure Disease up. Unfortunately, I don't seem to have any higher level uh, disease removal, such as Counteract or Abolish. 
if they even exist. I don't know. I have the poison versions. I don't know why I don't have the disease versions. So hopefully he just casts at us at first while we're getting this thing charmed. So Lucy is going to try to mess him, but if that doesn't work, I can dispel the disease and keep her alive. I think just to be extra safe, I'm going to start out with the Celestial Heal on Seleucia. And we are good to go. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, let me... Here, I'm casting Celestial right now. Oh, wait, wait, I'm not ready. Hold on. Let me get... St I have Holy Might up. Let me put Stun up so I don't do any damage with the Stun. Okay. Here goes Celestial Heal. And there you go. Engaging. Okay. That worked. And he got close really fast. I'm going to try for the root. He's rooted. Are you diseased? Okay. Very nice, very nice. All right. You got a pet now? Very nice. Oh, was that a break? No. Okay, looked like you got summoned for a second. Whoa, that's a break. Oh no, that was the start. Okay, I'm so scared right now. <laughs> uh, re rerouting. Oh, why the fizzles? He resisted mine. Did yours land? Shit. Why is it not working? You don't need a heal. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I, I don't know why F2. Didn't work, I must have missed the key. <sighs> oh, he tried to fear me. I resisted it. Ooh. That would have been interesting. Pet is pasted. Nice. I'm watching his HP. Looks like I should probably cast around 40 or 30. Probably 40 to be safe. Attempting to slow the sausage. The sausage is too fast. Yeah, he is pretty quick. Slow sausage. Nice. Slow that sausage down. Yeah, you got a heal on 64 mana now. And you got no disease, right? No. <sighs> I'm so glad I resisted that fear. That's pretty lucky, I think. <laughs> well, the good thing is you shouldn't aggro anything. It just would put you out of range. Even though we're engaged in combat with uh, with these guys? No, it matters where they are. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, that's good to know. I feel a little better now. <laughs> Dang, this guy... I'm 46. This is this is a fight, that's for sure. I'm just ready for that break. Let me try to throw a root up. I assume your root wore off. There we go. I'll try to keep root up, okay? So at this point, for the viewers at home, I'm just watching the pet for a stun on a charm break. I'm trying to also watch for root breaks on the mob. I just pulled up my spell bar so I can keep an eye on when to expect a root break if it goes the full length. Okay, that's slow. Oh wow, we got it. We got it. Immobilize broke, but it doesn't matter anymore. 
All right. Yeah. We pulled it off. I suppose I should heal this guy so he doesn't summon. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now we gotta work our way over to that bunny and get your gear back. I put gear on this guy. That's probably why it's holding so well. Blue Knight on the uh, moldy sausage. Did do you already have one? Can't loot it. Can't loot it. I also cannot loot it. <laughs> what luck! I think it's the only knight Worth that I have. It. <laughs> totally worth it. I'm curious how many of these will give us like a percent. Is it just two maybe? Because they're pretty high level. It's got to be like just two. I mean, that was a white. Wasn't that a white? For me, it's a white. For you, it's yeah, like 57. highest blue. Pedal pusher. All right. A pedal pusher is level 53. Okay. Oh, this should be easy then. Not as bad. The problem is, after that, we've got um, Carrot Top and the Hedge Wizard. So I assume we we pull the Hedge Wizard by mezzing or rooting Carrot Top. Does that sound about right? But I guess we should do this fight first. Maybe we go the other direction. <laughs> See what do we got over here. Behind door number two. Okay. Another sausage. To this corner, and we have... Oh, okay. He should not be too hard. I think we'll go this way around. But we'd have to go across the boss to get to the hedge wizard from this direction. We'll or... see what happens. Okay. That we will. I'm at 80 mana, but this should be enough. Let me know when you're going to go. So I'm going to attempt to engage him. Hopefully he doesn't have a friend on the other side of that corner. Oof. Going to send the pet in. Why is the pet at 91? He must be dotted. I mean, we've been fighting a necro. Trying yeah. To have some serious thoughts on him. All right, you ready? Should I heal him up first? Or does it matter? What do you think? Beyond a complete heal, you're probably going to use a lot of mana trying to heal him up. Yeah, alright. You're going to keep ticking down. You're going to get summoned anyway. <laughs> so, by the no. other one. No, he's not going to summon until he, he has 5% damage off of him. Do you think a celestial heal would get him up 4%? Oh, there's a break. Oh, charm break. He resisted my stun. Why is it not working when I click your name? It's ridiculous. Alright, he's on me. More dramatic than I hoped. Oof. Okay. Dang. He's hasted too, I forgot. Until he started beating on us. Alright. It might be wise for me to symbol myself, but I, I'm still going to go without it for now. <laughs> I don't want to waste that much mana right now. The warning that I've been summoned, and that's how I knew I had a charm break. Better now than just after we started. You want me to heal him? 92%, 8%. What do you think he's got? Like 15k? I think a Celestial Heal might just put him out of summoning range. I'm going to throw it on there, even though it's probably a waste of mana. 
in the long run. Everybody says 10.7. Oh, well, yeah. He's going to get him all the way to 100 then. Almost to 100. All right. Okay. The sausage. Okay. And hopefully nothing else. 70 mana. Should be enough, though. I don't Rudy. see any friends. Very nice. Are we, dare I say, getting the hang of it? Uh, we've gotten the hang of two. <laughs> it's better, better than the hang of one, but I'm not sure it's the hang of it. <laughs> load. Alright, that root is not holding very long. Wow. Wow, it's almost not even worth casting, I'm going to be honest. How's the pet? I think this is how we're going to be sneaky. We'll invis my pet and sneak him across. And he'll poke the, uh, the red. Uh, ah. Sphinx doesn't see invis. You think we can get the hedge maze without getting the rabbit? Is that what you're thinking? I feel. We'll probably just pacify the rabbit. Oh, good point. Casting. Better safe than sorry. Nice. And it's officially a bad day to be a moldy sausage. <laughs> We've killed two moldy sausages now. I've been up since the last server reset. Thinking life is grand. Okay, let's see. What's in the other corner? Uh, hedge, <laughs> hedge wizard. <laughs> that is the same hedge wizard. Wizard. Is it? Yeah. That's a full. Uh, it's a full circle around. Oh right yeah. Here. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, because the pedal pusher is in that other corner. All right. We can single pull the pedal pusher, right? Oh, yeah, I saw that. Stunned. Charming. Celestial heal. Trying to save mana, because I'm down to 40. He's still fighting a uh, a dot, I think. Cause I yeah, probably a new dot. I threw a uh, celestial heal on him. So, just so I understand, if I toss a cure disease on him and it doesn't actually remove the disease, it still removed some of the disease, so it'll like it's wear off gonna... sooner. Well, no, it, it it's not gonna wear off sooner. It's like the it's a cure counter. So it'll build up until I cast enough to cure it? Or it's like it's like rolling it'll... dice? Nah, I think it's just a straight count. So it won't have any effect until I reach the, the number that actually cures it? Is that how it works? Okay. Yep. Well, I wonder if it's even worth it now. I'm thinking I should just drop it. Although it probably could. not. Yeah. See, when do you get counteract disease? Because I know Jen Lee has it. I should probably have it. I don't know why I don't. Darn, I wish I did. Uh, it might be one of those things where it's in like a Ferroni V. 
So maybe it's in my like bank. Most people, you're not there very much. So I guess I can pull up another stun. That'll that might help. I guess. 60 mana. So maybe enough for the uh, pedal pusher if you want to go do that. <laughs> Counteract disease is a level 29 spell. <laughs> <laughs> what about abolish? 39? Just like the abolish poison? Let's see. So, but it does look like it's in some strange places. Like it's at some necromancer guilds. Um, yeah, Necro Guild, the Underground in East Freeport, Ruined Temple, <laughs> Everfrost. Maybe that's why I don't have it. Ariana the Outpost, Paneal. I thought I picked up everything in Ferriana V. You think it's only in the evil side? It sounds like no, an evil it's, side. It's there. I might have it in the bank, actually. In fact, it's let me look at my bag. Strongly bags. on. Uh, I have a spell antidote. That's for poison, though, right? A lot of either necro shaman, and then there's also a druid ring, the steam font ring to sell it. Huh. The steam font rings. Yeah. So that'd be so easy to just get, man. Yeah. If you had a druid friend. Oh well. <laughs> okay, abolish poison. That well, looks like it's at several cleric guilds. It's a level 49 uh, spell. Decrease poison counter by 36. Hmm. I noticed that I was casting it uh, you know, on the Trakanon poison in it takes it in uh, one hit, so it's pretty strong. Cure poison. Hmm. And antidote's even stronger, I assume? Uh, where is antidote? Dote. But, yeah, uh -oh. that's a little 58. Oh, I thought I heard something. I thought he was trying to break. Decrease poison okay. counter by 16, but it says like four times. Does that mean it'll do yeah. it quadrilically? I guess, otherwise it's not very much better than Abolish. Yeah, so that's what, 16 times 4 is uh, 64? Mm -hmm. That's weird to write it like that instead of saying... Oh, is it like a... Is it like a dot? Does it like... Is that per tick? Is it four ticks? Is that what it means? Your guess is as good as mine on that, that one. That's the only thing that makes sense why they would write it that way. Alright, so what's next? Pedal Pusher? I'm 96 mana now. Cool. Let us... He is stunnable, right? He's around the same level. Yeah, he should be stunnable. And uh, I think the bunny is far away enough. If not, about to find out. if not, it won't aggro the hedge wizard, right? So it yeah, might it be. Won't aggro so, the hedge wizard. So it might be okay. It might be even, in a way, it sounds good. If it works out like that, I'm gonna root him. Ooh, that was not a good idea. Root war off already. Okay, rooted. Slowing. Yeah, he's doing some. He's doing work. Almost like the Necro. Maybe even faster, I'd say. You notice that? Well, but his, his yeah. HP is going down really fast. The Necro definitely had more survivability. Yeah, I should be on stuns too. Uh, resisting my sons. We gotta watch out for a gate. Although he'll just gate back to a spawn point, right? Maybe. 
Maybe. Oh, I've been summoned. I've been charmed. Oh my good lord. I think yeah, I'm done. You got it. <laughs> I'm done. Wait, who would charm you though? Pedal Pusher's not an... It's an enchanter. Oh. No. Sorry, I just had to so, do that because of the music. The, the, so the charm, the charm has broken, and they didn't re-aggro me. Are you serious? <laughs> so I'm just standing here looking like a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> the result of it's charming me is that it just broke my charm. <laughs> it killed you. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's charming you with forgiveness, I guess. If you if you betray your friend, we shall forgive you. <laughs> oh my god. You have done us a great service. <laughs> We've been dreaming of killing Sandra since we spawned. <laughs> we want his teal armor. Think he is coming in here more colorful than we are. <laughs> We're flowers, damn it. <laughs> oh god. It was a good attempt. The uh, uh the hedge wizard. Well Because we can't we can't pass you the hedge wizard. Well let me say after we kill this pedal pusher and try to kill the rabbit and the hedge wizard, then I should lock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we're going for another attempt here. So we're gonna try to stun lock the pedal pusher, and if we can't you do that, I've got have... divine aura, so I can divine aura if uh, the enchanter gets enchanted again. You also have something. Maybe I'll just go for just straight stun lock because I didn't see it cast last time. So anything that I can think of to try and didn't interrupt it isn't going to work. You know, what I'm looking at, it's, its HP is bugged out right now at 21%. And I'm wondering if it charms at a certain HP, like 20. Like because 20 is like a, a fleeing number. Do you think it charmed you because it got down to 20% HP? We could try to stun lock it around that point. Maybe, but it might try and do it earlier than that. So we should just... Okay, so... So what do we do? Do we rotate? Like, you cast your stuns, and then I cast my stuns for, for the cooldowns? Or you can literally stun lock it yourself, right? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to try and do. Okay, so you stun lock it, and when I see it casting, I'm going to throw my stuns in there too. So hopefully, if one gets resisted, the other one doesn't. Okay. Hopefully no charm break here. Are you ready? I am as ready as I'll ever be. Charm break. Oh, oh you got to be kidding me. All right, I stunned, commanded, and healed. I've got aggro here. I'm gonna go for the root. Okay. I might as well heal myself. I got a bunch of mana. See Cassian? I can't tell. Resisted that stun. Oh, there's something. Got him. Tell me, I'm not watching the pet's HP, so let me know if it's getting low. Uh oh. It's not, I'm getting aggro. Okay. Because I'm stunning. Seems to be quite capable of uh, 
resisting my stuns. I've been getting lucky. Um. Oh, there we go. I got the aggro there. Come on, come on, yeah. All right, job well done. That burned quite a bit of mana, but it's done. <laughs> Did it just tell you Sendrith cheers at you? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I can make Gina talk to you. That's awesome. Oh, you were able to hear it? I heard it through the, through my thing. Yeah. Hmm. This headset must not really have them separated. Yeah. That's what I think too. Maybe it's maybe it pretends to have them separated, but I'm actually just talking into my earphone or something. Yeah. It had, at a certain volume, I noticed, because I had this problem on Xbox, at a certain volume, it will, uh, it will pick it up. Bah! Where be the Kazakh Thule puppet? Ridiculously funny. Oh, is it? It's 9 a.m., so I guess the show is on right now. I guess so. So we know he lasts at least until 9 a.m., because if the show's on, I bet he's in the audience right now, if, if, they, if Bristlebane's yelling out. Oh no, if the puppets are already up, that means someone already killed the guy in the audience. Is that right? I don't know if the puppets are up or, or not. I should top you off, but I don't want to waste the mana on a divine. Well, I have to wait for you to mid up anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, here we go. We're going to try to pacify Carrot Top. And then we're going to work on the Hedge Wizard beyond them. Looks like a couple of resists. Uh oh. Four resists. And mana. Got him? Got him. Alright. I'll follow your lead. You don't have the mana to stun lock this time. So it's gonna be it's gonna be up to me to stun and heal very well. Well, my stuns I don't think my stuns land on this guy. No. Oh you're right, mine don't either. Char break. Oh gosh. <laughs> I got him with a stun. Okay, so I'll keep one stun up for the pet. So what the what else should I have up then? I can't stun him. Uh, mm. I, I think can't. The stuns is going to be a problem because wizards often dispel as well. Ay ay ay. I guess maybe I'll try seething him just to. I... Run him out of mana. Oh, jeez, this is gonna be intense. This is gonna be intense. Okay, I just gotta be ready to heal. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. I mean, I could do Mark of Karn. Like I, I could try my pet for extra DPS. Look, that's all I can do. Oh, um, oh. there's no, not really much point in getting out of line of sight, is there? So hopefully the pet's got the aggro anyway. Mm -hmm. Well. Well, now I'm down to 30%. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <sighs> Just can't go great, can it? You could, uh... Could... You could wipe the Vindicator and pick him up when you're full mana. Clarity 2 is dropping. Alright, I'm going to pause this again. Let me try and pass this guy again. Okay. Come on, man. <laughs> you look like a nice bunny to begin with. Yeah, he's pretty cute. Aww. 
He's like, why are you trying to pass me? I'm already indifferent to you. For now. <laughs> okay, so I think on the wizard, I'm going to focus on deceiving and thefting so that hopefully he doesn't have enough mana to do his dirty work. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't sun him, so... I will cheer you on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just try and keep heels where you can. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yep. Ready? Ready for another res run? Try and break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's gotta be your catchphrase from now on. Try and break. I don't need to be this far away from him. Can you... Well, yeah, you don't want to step on the bunny's head. I think you can... Aggro. Add. Add? What? Add. A, po a pop? No, he came for the, the hedge. Okay, I'm going to complete heal now. Okay, that looks like... You got it. Nice. Whoa, something just hit me hard. And you. Did we get a charm break? Can you gate? No, but uh, I can. Yeah, something happened. I think he might have uh, dispelled. Ah, you can't kill me now. But you can soon. Yeah. Uh, run into where the red guy is, and there's a dead looking tree. If you click on it, it'll. He'll take you someplace else. <laughs> you can make it there. Dead looking tree. Whoa, I got summoned. Okay. I guess that's the last attempt. <laughs> I think so. It's, it's not. I don't think we can take the Hedge Wizard. Because we can't stun him. Yeah. Is it. Can't could stun it, him, can't mess him. Could it level 60 stun him? I get new mezzes. So you can mez him. That would interrupt the casting. Yeah. So that's the the only way. Well, we can try it again, and hopefully your gear's still there. <laughs> no. <laughs> Whenever there's a quake, your gear disappears, right? Even if nobody kills that bunny. Oh. Um, I'm not sure during... Maybe a server reset. How often does that happen? Whenever they have a problem. Hmm. I don't remember ever. But that's okay. It. I put it on uh, the bunny and the... Uh... Oh. Do you want to try to recover the one of them? We can recover the Vindicator, right? Maybe. I'd have to find something to kill him. Yeah. The boss? <laughs> no. All right. Let's see here. I think I remember how to get there now. I'm gonna pause this video real quick. Let me. Oh, you didn't click the tree, did you? Not yet. I will in a second. Just doing a cap on the video here. All right, guys. We had fun doing the hedge maze we got a couple of kills I feel like we did pretty well those were what level 57 necros is that right yep that's I think that's pretty awesome killed some level 57 necros we took out that en enchanter only level 53 but still had some fun footage had a good time I'll see you guys next time peace out